Welcome to the Stealth Channel, in today's video we will examine the Lockheed Martin AGM-158 family of stealth cruise missiles. Before we get to today's video, if you enjoy the content on this channel, please like, subscribe, share and leave a comment to help this channel grow. Feel free to leave a comment below to suggest stealth platforms you would like to see this channel cover in the future. I hope you will enjoy my content and continue to come back for more. Now on to today's video. The Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, or JASSM project began in 1995 after the cancellation of the Northrop AGM-137 TSSAM project. The Tri-Service Standoff Attack Missile was designed as a high-precision stealthy missile for use at standoff ranges, but poor management of the project resulted in rising costs. Since the requirement for such weapons still existed, the military quickly announced a follow-up project with similar goals. Initial contracts for two competing designs were awarded to Lockheed Martin and McDonnell Douglas in 1996, and the missile designations AGM-158A and AGM-159A were allocated respectively to the two weapons. Lockheed Martin's AGM-158A1 and a contract for further development was awarded in 1998. The AGM-158A is powered by a Teledyne CAJ-402 turbojet. Before launch the wings are folded to reduce size and upon launch the wings deploy automatically. The single vertical tail is also folded before launch and deployed automatically when the missile is launched. Guidance is via inertial navigation with global positioning system updates while an imaging infrared seeker provides target recognition and terminal homing. A data link allows the missile to transmit its location and status during flight, allowing improved bomb damage assessment. The warhead is a WDU-42-B-1000 pound penetrator. The JASSM may be carried by a wide range of aircraft, these include the F-15E Strike Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon, F-A-18 Super Hornet, F-35 Lightning II, B-1B Lancer, B-2 Spirit, and B-52 Stratofortress are all intended to carry the weapon. To date, Lockheed Martin has produced four variants of the AGM-158 missile, the original variant of the AGM-158 family is the AGM-158A Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, or JASSM. The JASSM is a low-observable standoff air-launched cruise missile developed by Lockheed Martin for the U.S. military. It is a large, stealthy long-range weapon with a 230-mile range and a 1,000-pound armor-piercing warhead. The AGM-158A JASSM entered service in 2009. These missiles are also currently in service with Australia, Finland, and Poland. In 2005, the U.S. Navy pulled out of the JASSM program in favor of the Boeing AGM-84H Slam ER. The second variant of the AGM-158 family is the AGM-158B Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile Extended Range, or JASM ER. The JASM ER is an extended range version of the AGM-158A that entered service in 2014. It has a range of 575 miles in comparison to the JASM's 230 mile range. With the retirement of the Boeing AGM-86C-D Calcum conventional air launched cruise missiles beginning in November 2019, its role was replaced by the JASM ER. In September 2021, Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison announced that Australia would acquire the JASM ER for the Royal Australian Air Force's Boeing F-A-18F Super Hornet and Lockheed Martin F-35 A Lightning II fighters. The third variant of the AGM-158 family is the AGM-158C Long Range Anti-Ship Missile, or LURASM. The LURASM is a JASM ER with a new seeker. It is intended as an operational weapon to address the needs of the U.S. Navy and U.S. Air Force to have a modern anti-ship missile. The LURASM can easily be differentiated from the other three variants of the AGM-158 family as it is painted black as opposed to the other three variants which are painted white. The LURASM achieved early operational capability on the Rockwell B-1B Lancer in December 2018. The fourth variant of the AGM-158 family is the AGM-158D Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile Extreme Range, or JASM-XR. 
The Jassim XR is an extreme range variant of the AGM-158 with a range of 1,200 miles and features a new missile control unit, changes to the wings, a different paint coating, an electronic safe and arm fuse, secure GPS receiver, and program protection requirements at a unit cost of $1.5 million. Low-rate initial production began in 2021 as part of Lot 19 with deliveries beginning in January 2024 at a rate of 5 per month for the first 40 missiles. The JASSM was first employed during the April 14, 2018 missile strikes against Syria during the Syrian civil war. Two B-1B Lancers fired a total of 19 JASMs as part of strikes against three of the Syrian government's alleged chemical weapons targets. All 19 JASSM missiles were fired at the Barza Research Center, which was destroyed in the strike. According to Russian state media, two missiles that failed to detonate were found by the Syrian Arab Army and transferred to Russia on April 18 for study, although no evidence of this claim has been provided. Initial reports had stated JASM ER missiles were used, but it was later clarified that baseline JASSM models were employed. On October 27, 2019, at the end of the Barisha raid to capture or kill Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the then leader of the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant Terror Organization, a number of AGM-158 B Jassim ER missiles were used to completely level the compound where the raid took place, marking the second time the missile has been used in combat. The Lockheed Martin AGM-158 family of stealth cruise missiles gives the United States and its allies potent new weapons to counter potential threats worldwide. Thank you for watching today's video, we hope you enjoyed it, and will continue to come back for more.